asked about this lamp, my friend. Have a look, Sunin.
Take on all comers!
Stretch your wings, Sunan. an iron stomach and a powerful thirst. Shall we lock horns? Drink it down faster than me. You take the prize. Your silver. Let's see how much you'll risk. Oh, how exciting. Ha! <laughs> We drink! Soon, guide me.
should not be seen in this area. the gods or welcome warrior silke silver tongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds rare objects priceless artifacts and yet you have put a price on them everything has value wise one and i ask only a fraction of its worth what would you say to a piece of christ's cross snakeskin from ragnar lothbrook's death pit these items do not look very impressive like this old shoe that belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurther when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Hafton the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjotme pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjotve. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down. No! Loki curse you! Words will not stop. Zulke will stay within the city. He finds safety within its walls. like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
This is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they lack in experience, they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashshield the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight, or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? I've handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready! <gasps> Fight! The raider needs to be useless. I am better than any man here! You have much to learn. Fight me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. Now you pay. Thought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. <gasps> did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick headed, like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble. And a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck! Okay, 
What tiny little child approaches? Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? You have the form of a very large swine. Come on, you can do better than that. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? You have the wit and the charm of a wood tick. You can't go harder than that? What a shame. Thought you'd be up for a good spar. Come back again if you ever feel ready. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. You should always have some of these. These are locally sourced. Couldn't have made a better choice. Have you looked at everything I have for sale? I'm off. Be well, friend.
Brjóta eitthvað. Post on that island. Shut his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying the bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. now harder and stronger than before no surprise there this war has spun on for three generations i hardly expect him to relent your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed i could warm my balls on it would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches just take care eivor such hatred can make you careless what he did to your father he did to all of us you are not in this fight alone scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Tell our king about this misadventure. Only the truth. That we attacked Jotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. up here. Well, well, 
The feather of ravens return. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> shut up, Rolf. How do you know? You never went on a raid. You shut up. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Hello, Eivor. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say.
With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Come to keep wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade. But it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Need anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. Swain. 
Have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at? Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? See you later, Swain. Sure. <laughs> they must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
that all you need? I have to go. See you soon. Goodman, it appears your ship is like one of Holger's stories. Never quite finished. <laughs> Get me some decent wood and I can finish it in a week. But Styrbjorn won't gift me any. There was little planned at Alvesness. But if I come across any, it will be yours.
Ethan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up, or you will be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan, Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you label the deserter. Go. Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya. I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... 
I have come for your advice on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Javi.
Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gans, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition. To Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He is my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Or oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done.
They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Hey, careful with that one. Avon! Hey, See good? <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. <laughs> it's just a start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts, and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim, and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. 
This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kyrtve the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you in these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. Put Thor to shame. <laughs> you have been away too long, brother. You do not know the spiced kick of Tetla's meat. Mm. It does have a new taste. I like it. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. 
In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Nicely done. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. A perfect strike. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. That's it. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning to... They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good, or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. 
Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotvis warriors! A bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report while we can. We can bring Kyotve news of the longships, or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head.
Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be we happy to. We wait. Kurt will grow stronger. I speak as your king, Sigurd. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. Gods, Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nothful, that wailing village under Kyotra's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotra learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you.